my name is Travis White and I'm from the Travis White Tribe and today I just want to talk to you a little bit about MTC and some of the guitar parts in it. I thought you might like that and if you do, please leave a comment, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube and hit the notification bell so you can get all the new stuff that's coming out. I'm going to be putting up a lot of new content so keep up with me if you can. So here we go. I'm just going to play this song and just play along and stop it at points and just talk through parts. Um, and it's just going to be a real overview. I'm just going to have it pretty quickly because I don't want to bore anyone. So let's get into it. Notice the rhythm part's really like that nice straight eighth kind of feel going on. It's fantastic. Uh, it's so easy to play over. Um, and I've got the riff is based on a E major chord. And it goes like this. Using those fourths like that with a riff. So the A and the D string, it's open, hammering on with my first finger. This F sharp is the major 9 of the uh, E major chord. Beautiful sound, really sweet, I love it, sounds great. Gives some color to the chord and gives it a bit, a bit more movement than just sitting on it. That kind of situation. Then it moves up to the A. Basically, same idea, except this melody note on the chord stays the same. But because the root moves, the relationship of the interval between the notes is different. So the F sharp in relation to E is the A9, but the F sharp in relationship to the A is the 6, the 13. It's a beautiful sound. Both very sweet sounds um, and used in different applications can be really, really cool. So let's keep moving along. So that's the chords there under the main melody. It gets to um, the next part after this main melody, so I'll just go over that quickly before it gets to. It's using E major pentatonic and the E major scale. Um, I wanted to write a song in a major key. And it's been a lot of fun. And um, the root, the major seven, the, uh, <clears throat> what am I doing here? C sharp, the relative minor, the sixth. And then we've got the fifth there. Um, or you can call it a 13 if it was on a dominant chord. So we've got root, major seven, sixth, the fifth, down to our G sharp. Okay, um, and it's a really, really um, cool sound. So that's our major third, the G sharp there. Sorry. And so it keeps that really nice major -y sound. So we've got. And then what's happening here in the melody, you've got this nice dissonance going on. Which I love um, between the fifth and the sixth there. So the really great thing about that is it creates that tension which is really really cool in melody and if you put a little bit there it's a bit of a spice to the sound. Um, and I, really, I really really like it. So yeah and then it goes along and it comes up to the the uh, like the next position of the uh, major pentatonic scale here. G form, um, and now we're here in 
in an E form of the E major pentatonic scale. So let's have a listen. play this so initially when I play that it's over the over these chords Um, and these notes... It's all based off E major as well. So basically here, there's a triad or... So that there is... Um, Based the melody off that, and I work back down to. Um, I'm just doing an overview. I'm not going into too much uh, depth of this. So if you want to get really in deep, just put a message in the comments, please, and ask me, and I'll, I'll go further into it. I just want to give you a good idea of the whole song, and so you can check it out and give you a good starter to learning it. And I, I think using your ears more is good too. Um, have a listen to it rather than me just tell you exactly everything. Um, I can, but kind of takes the fun out of kind of figuring things out and then later on you go, oh wow, that's what it was. Okay, so that's a really cool thing. Um, let's keep moving along. Okay, so um, there's a breakdown. those chords and they will come out to certain chord names but my idea what I was thinking at the time was that movement so I really wanted that movement and then on top I just put this out. So I'll give you the triad. I've got nine, nine, seven. So what I'm playing here is I've got a B, E, and F sharp. You could call that sus2. Up underneath that, what is that? When I put that there, what does that say? Sounds very suspiciously uh, Lydian to me. What's that sound? So have a play through that and figure it out um, and have some fun with it. I'd like you to figure that out. Um, okay, and then moving along, it goes to 
does that and then it moves back to the melee. <laughs> Lots of really classic stuff in there, very simple melody, it's stripped right back, there's no effects on it, um, it's a really uh, clear little simple melody in there, because you've got pretty, that's pretty intense harmony for this song, where it's, where it's just, just that. So I'm trying to make the song relatable and for everyone to be able to enjoy it and listen to it. You're driving in your car, it's playing in the background, gives you a good feel, gives you a good vibe and you feel like, yeah, let's do this. So that's um, MTC. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that gives you some overview of what the song's about. If I missed anything, I've jumped over anything, please leave a comment in the, um, in the, in the comment section. Hit the notification bell, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I hope to see you out at a live gig because that's what I love to do. I love to play live. I want to be out doing that. That's what, or where my heart really is. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much.